Eh. There we go. Uh, so I've got a new setup that I'm dealing with here that I'm trying to make work. And hopefully it will work. Hey! Rev is subscribed for 42 months! That's like forever! Thank you so much, Rev! It is! It, well, no, so it, it is... 42 is the ultimate answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about it, talk about it right. Um, but um, either way, I'm excited because I'm back in Timberborn, and specifically the experimental branch, the beta branch. A bit loud. Here, we can turn ourselves down a little bit here. Maybe that'll work. Maybe. No, that doesn't work. Okay. So we'll turn it down over here. So I am, um, I am working with a new setup here. Uh, I've got a, uh, I got a new mixer, uh, a little mixing board that has uh, some stuff for my, uh, for my audio that I'm able to adjust at least a little bit. So um, the, the problem is that this particular microphone is not a standard microphone. It doesn't use the regular microphone plug, this little guy, for those of you familiar. And the problem is that it goes through USB. And so it's it's complicated. I won't get into it. Uh, but look, it's also EA. Hi, EA. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you. Um, so essentially, uh, we are here in Timberborn with the with the new uh, updates to the experimental branch, that is the beta branch. And um, the thing is, I basically have to start a new game because um, a bunch of the stuff got adjusted and changed as far as what I can and can't do with different things. And so I think I'm going to go with the folktales this time because I uh, I haven't done the folktales for, uh, for a little while. So it should be fun. But, um, yeah, here, we, we will still play on easy because that's, that's how it's going to be. Because I'm here to talk more than anything. Uh, but suffice to say, I have my, um, my little output thing here and notifications and all that kind of stuff that will hopefully be able to work. And I'm not sure exactly how well it's going to, um, do its thing. And so I do want to run a couple of quick tests on it just to uh, just to sort of see what's going to happen because basically what's happening right now is the microphone is going only through um, the what's Revenant called the the thing. X cheers X five hundred. Happy New Year! Oh yay! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Rev! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so the microphone is going through the USB and into the slobs, that is the Streamlabs OBS, and then the actual audio is going through the mixer. The thing is that the audio is very, very simple and is just going from essentially the stereo output. Um, I got the mixer in part because I want to start doing more with um, computer music and stuff like that of uh, various sorts. Uh, let's see, this will be Isengard. All right, so for anybody unfamiliar with this game, the idea is that you are playing as a group of adorable beavers and you need to go out and work. You need to get stuff done. You gotta go out and you gotta build stuff and you gotta, you gotta work and you gotta uh, get all of the trees and stuffs and you gotta build all the new things and all this kind of stuff. It's great. So, just very quickly, I wanna test something just to see what happens. Okay, so what happened right now to me, you all should still be able to hear the game because the game audio is going through slobs, but I can't hear it because my audio is going through the mixer. Like I said, I did mess around with it a little bit, and like I did a bunch of recordings and playbacks and stuff, trying to figure it out and make it work at least a little bit better and all that stuff. And so, for example, one thing that I did is my microphone is turned all the way down. 
The reason for that is because otherwise it would create a massive feedback loop and it would be very unpleasant if we do something like that. So that's, uh, yeah. Um, essentially it takes the, the audio from the microphone and puts it into my speakers. Now I could always just wear my headset uh, because I actually have a um, like official studio style and studio quality um, monitor headphones, which is pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, but let's go ahead and get us started. So we need to do some stuff. We need to get a couple of gatherers going here. We also need to get a couple of lumberjacks going here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So here we'll do this. We got to build our paths. Um, so for anybody who is unfamiliar with this game, this is an RTS. It's a real-time strategy game. Uh, very similar to um, Ye Olden, um, Age of Empires, Age of Mythology, which is my personal favorite, and all of those types of games. Um, with the idea being that you collect resources, you do things, and uh, that's pretty much the size of it. Uh, go away, I don't need you. Uh, yes, I'm sure. I just want to select trees. Wait, we can't... Hang on. There we go. Okay. In case you can't tell, it's been a little while since I've played this. Just, you know, a wee bit. I do remember some things, though. Like the fact that I need to um, start um, work on getting a forester going relatively quickly. Um, the other thing is that there's some interesting stuff that's changed here where um, now the uh, this, the water wheel, is exclusive to um, these particular little creatures, the um, uh, folk tales. Uh, so the other thing that I need to do relatively quickly is get housing because um, the thing is that without... Uh, without housing, then these guys get very upset. Also, we need to speed them up. Alright, so this should do it for us. But, um, yeah, so incidentally, it's been forever. I hope that everybody had a good holiday season, safe new year, all of that good stuff. Um, it's... It has been quite a whirlwind of insanity for me personally. Um, I've had um, some various difficulties of different sorts trying to uh, work through, but, you know, I'm doing my best. And hopefully it'll come out okay, essentially, and we'll come out on top. But um, at this point, I honestly don't know. So we will see. And like I said, we will hope. So, yeah. Um, but um, again, I hope that everyone else is doing well and feeling happy and good and all that. Because it's awesome times. Yay, awesome times. Oh man. Stupid lodge. Can I build a bigger lodge? Oh. So the lodge makes no difference. Uh, we also need to start on some sciencing. So having your beaver science is absolutely crucial in this game. Because sciencing beavers are happy beavers. And it means that you can unlock all the cool new buildings. Otherwise, you're not able to do that, unfortunately. Um, incidentally, I'm going to go ahead and start up another lumberjack flag up here. So I mentioned earlier, one of the critical things that I have to do is 
get started on what's referred to as a forester in this game. And that is this thing right here. So the forester is what allows you to essentially plant more trees and berry bushes and all that sort of thing. So effectively, it, um, you have a sort of self-sustaining forest going on. And that is very, very critical to have in this game. I know I'm overdoing it on water storage, but I don't really care. Uh, we will have droughts and all of that kind of stuff, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, did anybody have any fun and exciting stuff going on? I know I, I did with my, my fancy new mixer and everything. So that's always exciting. I'm glad to have that. But um, actually, I'm curious. I'm going to test this. So these are my fancy headphones that I got. This is a 3.5 millimeter cable that I don't actually need. All right. So these are my fancy headphones, my little uh, studio headphones. And so I want to try and see what happens here. All right. So we go there. Interesting. Okay. So see, now I can do this where I can actually up um, the, the sound on the microphone so I can get feedback on it and hear myself while I'm doing stuff. And I can also sing and do karaoke and it's awesome, but not really, it doesn't matter that much. I'd say that I feel like Keanu Reeves, but I don't. What was the name of his band? Like, I, I know he was in like an actual band besides the whole Bill and Ted thing. That was, you know, the the fake band stuff. I don't mean the fake band stuff. I mean the real band stuff. Ah, shoot. I got to build like storehouses and all that kind of thing. So I've got my science going, which is great. And hopefully... We're going to start seeing our population increase. The uh, the population increase is directly related to um, how many um, how many of these things we got going on, basically. How many of the um, lodges we have? So hopefully this will happen relatively quickly. But either way. Yay, stuff! Woo! I'm gonna unplug my headphones now. That was cool. These things are really awesome, I have to say. I really, really like them. And they plug into pretty much everything. It's nice, because it, it lets me hear my own voice. And I can even adjust my voice, which is kind of fun. Now, what I want to try to do is I want to try to see if I can figure out a way to make it so that the audio from the mixer goes to slobs. That's what I've been trying to do. And that's, that's what I was messing around with because it has like built in effects of all different sorts and that kind of thing. And so I can like mess around with it. It's kind of cool, but it's not a huge deal, obviously. So. Make sure that the microphone's all the way down because I don't want to blast everybody's ears with feedback. All right, so now we've got water coming up. <laughs> have I tried hitting it with a hammer and a larger hammer? I have tried neither a hammer nor a larger hammer. Although, one would assume that that would help. I mean, it's only logical. Okay, so there's a couple of issues that I'm going to run into relatively quickly here. Um, first and foremost is 
the fact that I need to start building up planks. Because in order to make the forester, I need planks. And in order to make planks, I need this thing. So what we are going to do is we are going to dissuade the builders from these barrels because they're not super important. I mean, it is true. Percussive maintenance is well known, tried and true, well honored and highly honed, um, you know, capability and very classic mechanism for fixing pretty much any problem that exists anywhere. And so I, I have no gripe against percussive maintenance. Don't get me wrong. That said, my little beavers here, I don't think would find it super necessary to do so. But what I will do is this. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, collecting some more wood here. And in order to do that, we will pause a couple of these. So that we can get this going. I mentioned before how important it is to make sure that I get the, um, the forester going. And this is part of why it's because the starting area has relatively little resources or relatively few resources. So you really have to make sure that you um, get stuff going quickly in order to um, in order to make sure that you've got um, you have enough resources to build out all the stuff that you need to build out. So, yeah. They slap stuff with their tail all the time. I mean, I guess that's not wrong. Beavers do tend to do that. We, we have seen it. This is true. And if it's true, that means it is not untrue. So hopefully this won't be too, too terrible. The problem is that I really need a couple of these lodges built quickly. So I have to put my water wheel on hold. You know, I, I read, um, I read a really interesting thing about beavers that was talking about, um, essentially their instinct to build dams and how um, and how they do it and how the instinct is kind of ingrained inside of them. And it's strictly due to the sound of flowing water. That's all it is. It has nothing to do with where the water is or what it's doing or any real attempt to build an actual shelter. It's simply the loudest source of water needs to be stopped. That's all it is. So scientists actually went and they put essentially a real running river or like a river that they had built effectively um, that was going through an area. And then they had a speaker that was playing um, the sound of like a babbling brook type of thing, but they were playing it louder than the actual river. And the beavers ended up covering up the speaker so that they could muffle it. So they couldn't care less if there's even actually water. All they care about is shutting it up. <laughs> Yay! 37 months for the awesomeness that is Maithuin. But uh, it's, it's just kind of an interesting thing to think about, that that's, that's what beavers did. And it's... Uh, I... I... I will say I, I hated the show in the last seasons, but initially it was pretty good. The Big Bang Theory, 
I loved it at first. Everybody thought I was obsessed with it because I had the same shower curtain as they did, but I had it before the show existed. I'm just saying. <sighs> but one of the interesting things that they did with, um, once they added, oh my God, I can't remember her name now. The actress who plays Amy Farrah Fowler and who actually has a PhD in neuroscience and is legitimately a, an amazing person and an incredible scientist in her own right, but that's beside the point. Um, I lost my train of thought. Right! They were talking about um, if... Uh, what was it? If beavers ruled the world, what food wouldn't exist? And so one of the characters guessed that it would be cinnamon because cinnamon comes from trees. And so basically saying that the, the beavers worship trees. Uh, but in the end, the correct answer was the cheese Danish because uh, in order to appease the beaver overlords, dams are built all over the world and they flood the low-lying town of Copenhagen, which means that there is no cheese Danish for anyone. So sad. Yes, that's her, Maithuin. I don't remember how to pronounce her name though, and so I'm not going to try because that would just be insulting. But, uh, but yes, you all know who I'm talking about. You know, the, the person on that show who actually is legitimately smart and awesome although to be fair over the holidays we did watch the um what's it called we watched um the griswold uh christmas vacation uh with chevy chase and um and so what's his name um oh my god is it i i keep wanting to say like jared pilecki but i'm i'm mixing up the actor who plays Leonard with the actor who plays Sam in, um, in Supernatural. Um, but, um, essentially the, um, Christmas Vacation was one of his first roles that he had, uh, when he played the, uh, the kid for, uh, the, well, the kid of the family, I guess is the easiest way to put it. So... Just another fun factoid for all of you. I don't know why I'm just randomly listing off factoids. Maybe because I'm nervous. Or just because I want to get stuff moving. And I'm, I think it's because I'm nervous. I'm, I've, I've got a... It's not a big week going on, but I've got, a, I've got an important, potentially important week coming up. And so I really want to make sure that things go well, essentially. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause one of these lumberjack mills because we need somebody working here. All right, but now we'll be able to do the storage thing proper, which is nice. And I'll be able to build out a forester relatively soon. We've got a drought coming. Not super worried about it. We should be okay. I've got plenty of science, so we can unlock that. So as this very, very gradually goes and builds out planks, then we'll be able to do it. It's really frustrating that this water wheel is not going well. It looks like the current is solid. I must have it in like exactly the wrong place for what I need, unfortunately. But even so, we should be good for the drought. Again, I'm playing on easy, so, you know, shh, don't tell anybody.
But uh, once we get the forester going, then I'll be able to start planting and get all of that good stuff going. I'll go ahead and re-employ somebody at um, this pump here. Make sure that we got plenty of water. Now see, Rev, Rev is insane. He's been playing this game on hard pretty consistently, and I don't know how he does it. It is insanely difficult. Like, I just, I don't get it. I do not understand that kind of willpower. Like, dealing, between dealing with the various, uh, you know, beaver unions and their refusal to work more than like 17 or 18 hours a day and the fact that everything has to be just perfect to make sure that everything is right. It's just ridiculous. Oh, yeah, of course, it's planning ahead, but still. Like, see, this is going to suck because I'm not going to be able to, um, I'm not going to be able to get enough planks to um, finish up my thing, I don't think. I might be able to, but I doubt it. Yeah, no. See, look, the, like, the water is still flowing, but the thing's not moving. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I got my Forester built at least, so that's good. Incidentally, we do need to get a dam built here. But either way. Yeah, I I realize that now that the the pumps are really where the the flow is, unfortunately. But you know, whatever. <laughs> Allowing the correct number of beavers to die in service of the colony. Uh, so I will say EA, it there is always a lot of stuff going on because it is an RTS, so you do certainly see that. But at the same time, I'm also playing at you know like maximum speed, and so you can play at like normal speed, which is like barely anything, and it makes things a lot easier to deal with. If, if that is a worry. Now, incidentally, pine and maple are the way to go on these things. You can do chestnut as well, but uh, fundamentally, stay away from birch. That's basically the long and short of it. The beavers are very adorable. And obviously there is nothing wrong with that. So now I'm debating whether or not I should, um, whether or not I should demolish these and rebuild. I'd really rather not, especially because I have very few resources available. Even on easy, you know, I mean, the water's coming back, which is great. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the um, the real-time strategy stuff is really not for everybody, for sure. Um, 
that is 100% accurate. Um, I've known a lot of people who just do not enjoy it, and that's totally fine. Um, there, it's yeah, it's it just like with any game style. It's you know to each their own. I mean, what works for one person might not work for another. It's just the way it is. Simply how it be. So for this one, we got to get fancy. We need stairs. It's very strange because you need stairs in order to get... you. So to build stairs, you need planks, right? You need the wooden planks. But to build the massive giant beaver lodge, you don't need any wooden planks for it. It's still built built out of logs. Which just seems odd to me, but whatever. Braised mushroom chicken. Ooh, yum. Yeah, see, I don't know what everybody's obsession with super sweet barbecue sauces is. It's just... Ugh. I honestly never understood it personally. Now, maybe that's just me, but yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a sweet barbecue sauce guy. I'm more tangy barbecue sauce. The, like my, my problem is that the, um, my, my, personal problem is I got used to ugh, really um, I got used to a um, slightly spicy style of sauce and so it made things uh, annoying for me to uh, to get stuff done or, or to, to eat a lot of barbecue sauces because I just I just do not like them. I am not a fan. So the problem now is that we've got these pine trees growing and they are going to take quite some time. And in the meanwhile, I literally have no resources. So... There's a couple of things that we can do. Chief amongst which is this. We can come up here and we can basically redo our lumberjacking. So if we can get our lumberjacking going relatively steadily, then we'll at least be able to build out something or other. Honestly, the dam isn't really that important. So I think I'm going to put those at the bottom of the list. I'd rather have the lodges and everything built out. The other thing that I need to start doing too is getting food, that, or sustainable food, I should say, um, in the form of farmhouses. So yeah, the <laughs> beaver gods must be appeased. <laughs> oh, you guys use sweet baby rays. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's that's a really popular barbecue sauce. So, yeah, that's not super surprising. Um, I like that. That one for me, it's it's like right on the border. It, it's just it, it's 
it's a little bit too much for me uh, in the sweetness department. I, I'm I'm a bigger fan of oh my god I want to say it's North Carolina barbecue style that is the um, what's it called that's um, mustard based and that I really really like it's like mustard and vinegar um, with uh, just a touch of sweetness so awesome. Well, of course I can get away with all of this on easy mode because I am on easy mode. Yeah, and that's and that's that's why I said I'm honestly I'm really mostly playing on easy because I'm doing the stream, so that way I don't have to think too hard. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> it's uh, it is interesting though because even going from easy to like normal on this game is a relatively large jump. It's pretty impressive. <sighs> what am I going to do here? <sighs> I really don't want to have to rebuild all of this stuff. The, the water wheels are so expensive. They cost like what well, what is it like 50, 50 logs I think something like that it's absolutely insane I I did overdo things a bit like I I I probably didn't I well I certainly didn't need both of the science things I certainly didn't need three pumps at least not for this I built way too many barrels and way too much housing essentially but what we can do is we can go ahead and put a couple of farmhouses on the list so that way we'll be ready to go well and that's what i mean like i i know i'm not you know doing too much here but what really sucks is that you don't get the um you don't get um resources back when um, when you get rid of them. The thing is that this particular pump is in the perfect location for the water wheel. That's like right, you can see, and it's actually kind of nice because the water physics in this game, honestly, are really freaking good. I, I was legitimately shocked by how good they were. Uh, but, um, but yeah, like basically this water pump is exactly perfectly right where the water wheel should be. They need to switch places. The problem is that I can't do that right now because I don't have the resources available. I'm waiting for all my trees to grow. And the thing is, you can see like I'm, I'm completely out of trees. I got nothing left. Did I not include these things? I didn't. So here, we got like a small row of trees left, but we don't have very much. That's for sure. <sighs> Fine. I'll go ahead and finish making that. Like the, these are not going to be enough. Birch is basically worthless as a as a wood source. Yeah, see like I've got all these planks now, but I have no actual like lodge or um what's it called? Oh, come on. Dang it. We literally need one log for this stupid thing. Hate this game. <laughs> 
game sucks. <gasps> I only need one more. Just one. That's all. So sad. So sad. So very sad. Oh well. Now I just have a bunch of worthless beavers standing around doing nothing. Yay! My thing has been built. Well, see, that's the problem is that I have 18 planks now. And so that's why I have now paused my lumber mill because I don't need any more planks. You keep wasting all the logs. I need these trees to grow faster. That's what I need. What kind of planting routine are you doing, bro? You got trees next to each other that are like more than halfway done right next to one that's like 12% done. Well, and that's the issue for, for me is the spiraling and like, oh, and doing overproduction on stuff when I really shouldn't or, you know, really can't afford to, technically. Like these, uh, these farmhouses are going to take forever to finish now. Or it's going to feel like forever. Oh, he spirals? Oh, I don't care. But the, see, look, you got like 19, 28, 47, 81. Like, what the fudge, bro? Look, see, he's planting in a straight line. Oh, I see. He's going around in big, giant, concentric circles. That's stupid. This beaver is dumb. Doesn't know how to plant trees. Incidentally, anybody have any fun plans for the week? Ugh. I myself... Uh, well, I've... Yeah. My, my stuff is a long story, but um, I've... Uh, today is my last day of forced vacation that I was on, so I'm glad for that at least. But, um, that's pretty much it, unfortunately. And, um, other than that, it's, uh, rough on my side. You got crazy busy week? Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Trying to see what, if anything else, is new in this. Doesn't seem like there is. The Bhutan Death March but with slideshows and beaches. A forced vacation. No, it was definitely not like that, Rev. I can guarantee you. Oh, you have a hair appointment? I hate you. I, I, I wish I could have a hair appointment. My wife won't let me. I wanted to. I wanted to get one during my forced vacation. Instead, I just ended up working. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell anybody! Shh! Well, you get Friday off, that's fun. Alright! Yay! Right, right as the drought is coming, we've got our farm built. Or our first farm, I should say. So, huzzah! I suppose. 
The Witcher hair? Yeah, right. Yeah, if I looked half as good as Geralt of Rivia, then I wouldn't need the job that I have because I would be an actor. That would be so freaking cool. Alas, it is not meant to be. So some of the pines finally came up, which is great. We will soon have fewer unemployed beavers. Due to the onset of this new farmhouse. So yeah, see now you notice that we've got no food. This is bad. Uh, we've got just my, my little berry pickers here. Um, and so, yeah. This is, this is why getting the farm up early is important, like Rev was saying. Is because as your population grows significantly, as I have 26 right now, then you start running into issues very quickly. Dang it! Why isn't the thing working? It should work. Look, see, I do the little thing. I do the example. And it works. I don't understand why it doesn't work. It's driving me insane. I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it some more. But yeah, my week is going to suck because it's going to be a bunch of like back to work meetings and things. My forced vacation was because my entire company was closed over the holidays. Um, and so literally everybody was gone. So we're all coming back tomorrow. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. That's really aggravating. I'm really sorry about that. The stupid thing's not working. I wish it did. But at least I saw it in the chat, so that's good. Yeah. I'm basically waiting this week to um, hear some news on, well, a few different things, but um, we'll see what happens. Why is the wheel spinning backwards? The water is like stagnant. This is weird. It's freaking me out, bro. It's freaking me out. I know there's nothing to do in range. I know you're all hungry. I'm sorry. Hungry beavers, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, the carrots are coming. They are on the way. They are at 90%. No, now they're going to stop. I'm so sorry, little beavers. Oh, my poor little beavers. Yeah, I would be absolutely terrible at this game if I tried it on hard. Also, water doesn't moonwalk. It doesn't make any sense. No, my beaver died of starvation!
Seriously, we need them carrots like right now. Yes! Carrots are coming! Huzzah! And lo, the beaver lords did look down upon them and had mercy and gave carrots. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Incidentally, my favorite movie of all time, if anyone's curious. Bunch of lazy bums. Woo! My beavers are happier than ever! Score! It's because I gave them carrots. Makes them happy. Beavers are fairly easy to please, apparently. We should just about be done with these guys. So here, let's go ahead and do this. Because we got some unemployed ones. Now what else do I need? I'm going to need grill. Grill does not require power, so it'll be okay right there. Incidentally, I really like the music in this game. I know it's a random thing to mention, but I like it. I think it fits very nicely. Like, it's cheery, it's fun, but it's not, like, overbearing. And un incidentally, unlike a lot of RTS games, you don't have the, um, you don't have the very common issue of enemies. There's no bad guys in this game, essentially. So that's always very nice. Okay. Now the problem is that I need to build out another For a levy here. Okay, so we're going to build out a levy system. But this means that we need to demolish some resources. That's a lot of resource demolition. I'm not a fan of that, but unfortunately we don't have a choice because the future calls upon us.
So the levy might not be the... Oh, shoot. Huh. What I really need is floodgates, not levees. Oh well, it is what it is. Fill some grilled potatoes. Yum. made it <laughs> yeah it is call time for me unfortunately or basically call time only a few horrible deaths by starvation <laughs> um yay <laughs> Woo! Incidentally, this is stupid of me. I, um, I don't want to do this. Those need to be floodgates instead. They're happy because they got potatoes. They're very easy to please. I know. Like, I'm not going to have time to build them, but still. I'm going to get set up for next time. This game is awesome. Whatever. Don't judge me! Also, what's taking the maple trees so long? Stupid maple trees. Oh, he's taking forever. Uh, they won't. I'm going to have to build some stairs down into the little area here. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to fork off the path so that they can build them underwater. It's not that big of a deal. But, yeah. It is time for me to get going. I have to be ready to get to work tomorrow. So, hooray. See, I personally like the floodgates. I don't know what it is about floodgates. But they just appeal to me more. Although, you do make a very good point with regard to... capabilities here. Because then I could build a ladder up there and I could potentially start doing some harvesting of various sorts. Alright. Well, either way. Um, but uh, that said, I'll, um, I I'm going to sign off I'm going to head out. So everybody take care. Be well. Stay safe. I hope that you all have a good week. Um, again, I'm back to my um, at least relatively normal schedule. I hope I should be. Um, so that means that on Friday, no, Saturday, 
um, I will be uh, I will be in with um, what's it called uh, Phoenix Wright. So more awesome courtroom drama of awesomeness. I know I'm looking forward to it. I hope that you are too. So it should be fun. But um, you guys take care um, and hope that everybody does well and gets well and you all have all the things that you're hoping for and all of that. So take care and I will hopefully see you all on Saturday. So bye bye.